just picked up this Saginaw 4 speed off marketplace uh, it's identical to the one in my Chevelle it's from the 70s um, this one has a 311 first gear and uh, so I figured I'd make a quick video before I put it in the car uh, the reason I'm going to put this in the car the one in there which my uncle gave me a long time ago um, it needs some synchros so years of hard driving uh, they're not the most durable but they're cheap and uh, so anyway this one's identical I'm going to slap it in and then uh, rebuild the other one because uh, I want to keep that one in the car because you know my uh, uncle gave it to me a very long time ago so anyway uh, we'll look at the input shaft here and as you can see there's two grooves in it which indica indicates the uh, 311 first gear. Uh, there's four ratios available in these four speeds. Uh, the one with zero grooves is a 285 first gear. The one with three grooves is a 350 first gear. And the one with one groove is the 254 first gear. So, uh, but you can't go off that completely because input shafts get replaced. Like the one in my car has no grooves, but it is the 311 gearbox someone has swapped out the input shaft at some point so it's not foolproof but it's a give you an idea of what you got here's a view of the inside all the gears um, the Saginaw is easily identified one is cast iron two it's got three shift levers on the side cover uh, and I have it off just to make sure I have no broken gears and nothing's broke visibly we'll see how it runs in the car um, I'm just waiting on a gasket and I'll seal this thing up and probably put it in the car in the next few weeks so uh, anyway the thing that makes this less strong than a T10 or a Muncie is the location of the reverse gear um, it's in the tail shaft portion on those transmissions and it's here right in the main case on these Saginaw so everything's smaller it's not as durable, but you know, for a normal street car, uh, it'll probably work out for you. And they're getting more expensive, but they're still way cheaper than buying a Muncie or a T10. So anyway, for now, this is what I'm using. I'd love to have a aluminum case transmission to make the car lighter, but it's not in the budget. So this is what we'll be using. And lastly, here's a view of the side cover. Uh, you can see the three uh, shift levers and I'll actually take these off once I get in the car because I have a Hurst super shifter it's been modified to work with a Saginaw and so anyway I don't actually need these but I'm just leaving them on there for now it keeps everything together so uh, this is how you identify one if you have a Saginaw three speed it doesn't have that third lever to the right so if you ever find one and think it's a four speed but only has two levers that's a three speed you probably don't want it so anyway uh, anyway there's a quick view of these things they're decent they're cheap I've been running one in my car since I think 2006 or 7 with no failure uh, but you know in Denver it runs 15 so it's not a super fast car so anyway thanks guys